On Friday, the Minnesota Timberwolves will come into town. Then on Sunday, they'll face off against Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers. And, and Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Porter and Markinen, the duo at forward. White and Levine team up in the backcourt. And it's Carter in at the five spot. And for the Hornets, Washington and Zeller are in the middle. Then there's Monk, then it's Bridges, and it's Graham in at the one spot. Opening day, Steve, for some teams, it's a fresh start. And for others, it's the first step towards settling unfinished business, taking care of what they didn't do the previous season. Yeah, you're right, Kevin. I think those teams that came very close to maybe winning a championship or being there, those are the guys that are hungry. And those are the organization. They are chomping at the bit to start the season. The shot by Monk is no good. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Markinen kicks to White. It's good, and he makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, attacking the interior is something White does well. He's crafty, and he makes good adjustments against the defense. Here's Graham. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Now Levine. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach James Borrego. Uh, David, what do you have to say? Thanks, Kevin. Well, he really respects the opponent they're facing tonight. He said, we've looked at the game film, and those guys over there are relentless at scoring. It's going to take a tremendous effort on our part defensively to slow them down. And guys, that's the kind of thing that's going to take all of this game to do. David, thank you as always. Greg, we'll see if they can come out and disrupt the other team's offensive flow. Well, and to do that, it, it takes a concerted effort by all five guys. You can't afford breakdowns defensively. Setting an aggressive physical tone early at the defensive end sounds like the right way to go. Monk with the ball, wide on him. Count that bucket. And how committed is Monk there on the attack to the rim. When he puts it on the deck, he's looking to take it all the way. Now here's White. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. Here's Levine. They are out of rhythm, one for five so far. You just need to calm down and reward your matchups. The Hornets have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Poked away, and it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Carter. Shot from the inbound. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And was last season really the first full season we got to see of Malik Monk? It was given a sizable part of the rotation and showed why he was a lottery pick for this team. One shot. Free throw drops for Monk. Timeout, timeout. During most of his rookie season, Monk was relegated to the bench. Not sure if it was development or opportunity. Hard to say for Monk. The fact is, you can see the knack for scoring he has, even if he's a bit of a volume scorer at this point. And the first timeout of the game called for Chicago. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And you look at Wendell Carter Jr., the center out of Duke. Fantastic blend of size and mobility, a lot to like about what he could do. Two.
and he knocks down the first one. And with Wendell Carter Jr., we saw flashes of his potential last season. Easy to see why he was a snap pick at seven for the Bulls back in 2018. As he gets more comfortable in his role and his teammates lean on him, he could be a force. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. With Wendell Carter Jr., you love the do-it-all ability, the understanding of the game. Pass to Bridges, lets it go from deep. Markinen pulls it in. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Second chance shot, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Okay, at 7 feet, 240 pounds, Markinen's agility jumps out at you, drawing contact off the bounce. And there's no doubt that this team views Laurie Markinen as a big part of their future. Many slept on Markinen in the draft, but he could be a star. Two shots. That free throw good from Markkinen. As you said, Smitty, Markkinen has the potential to be an all-star someday. He's not quite there yet, Kevin. Not by any means. Needs to take a jump forward and go from being a shooter to an all-around score. And the Hornets making a change here. Biombo's checked in. He's off on the second. And for a player that didn't come in with a lot of fanfare to the NBA, Markkinen is one of the top young players in the league. Yeah, call him the marksman or, or the finisher. Call him Larry Bird, if you like. Fantastic stretch four who showed he could be a focal point of an offense, can play with an edge as well, and is just scratching the surface of his potential. Here's White following the bucket by the Hornets. Kick it out, man. Kick it out. Graham with the rebound. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. You know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. And if you let the little guy get airborne before you slide over to block him out, he can and will embarrass you on the boards. They get it back. And so Markinen will bring it up for the Bulls. They trail by six. White, wide open. He fires. And the Bulls with another miss. And it's the Hornets' ball. They're on an 11-3 run. Graham with the bucket. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Outside, White. Quarter against Bridges. Count that one. With the defenses trying to take away the three ball, Porter understands that the mid-range area is open to him. Here's Graham. Zeller passes to Monk. It's blocked. To the inside, here's White. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got six rebounds here tonight. In a funk this quarter, he's trying to shoot his way out of it. And it's Graham missing. Bulls trail by six. Lobs it up for Levine. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. This is why Levine's a fan favorite. Plays with an exciting, flashy style. Passes it to Monk. To the wing right side. Graham. Charlotte again missing. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Got it. Nice one there from Levine. The height to see over the defense and the unselfishness. Terrific pass by Markinen. And here is Graham. High arcing shot. He lays it in. Graham's got six. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. And White kicks to Levine. 
count it, good. He has six. The question for Zach Levine coming in, will he get strong enough? There's your answer. Graham, the pass to Zeller. Here's Monk. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. Now here's White outside Levine. And it's Biombo with the rebound. Pass to Graham. For three, Bridges. He's now one for two with that bucket. Uh, capable of scorching you from the perimeter. When Bridges has a great look, he takes advantage. White the pass to Carter. Over Zeller. It's blocked, and he recovers it. Shot clock at six. Here's White. And a miss there on the triple. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Bridges inside the three-point line. And Charlotte again with the bucket. They're getting him shots in his spots. That's understanding your personnel. Here's White. And he can't stop the run as he misses. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Here's Biombo. And there's another one for the Hornets. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Right there, Carter using his instincts and motor to track down the miss and convert into second chance points. Here's Graham. He's got six to the paint. Zeller inside, defended by Carter. Doesn't go for him. Bulls trail by nine. And the Bulls had Boylan step in as an interim coach last season, Smitty, but decided to give him the keys to the car this year as well. A surprise move as Boylan immediately was at odds with the players. Management sided with the coach. Interesting message to send to a young team looking to develop. The Bulls have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Sadoransky comes in for Porter. And Chris Dunn subbed in for White. One shot. One shot. Free throw, no good for Markkinen. The emphasis on freedom of movement, less grabbing and holding on the perimeter, Steve, has made some players almost impossible to defend. Yeah, James Harden, because he likes to be physical, and it's how can you not guard him without being physical in return? Steph Curry, because he gets the opening shoot shots. Lillard, Kyrie, Devin Booker, Giannis, Kevin Durant for sure. It's hard to guard these guys because they're so good on the offensive end. Levine can't hit. Charlotte leading by nine. Here's Rozier. Ernie Gomez kicks to Rozier. I see you, I see you. Switch. The second chance effort. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Hornets lead by 11. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Now, here's Markinen. And again, Chicago, no good. And Harris, wide open. He shoots. Here's Hernan Gomez, and he banks in the layup. Hernan Gomez has got his third basket of the night right there. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Here's the floater. Got a hand on it. 151 left to play in the first quarter. And there's the pass to Rogier. Charlotte needs to get a shot off.
Here's Biombo. It's hauled in by Dunn. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for Chicago. It's a 13-point game. And this matchup with Charlotte, first game of the NBA season for them. Yeah, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. So you know each game they play will hold a lot of importance to both teams. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Now here's Levine. Six points for him. Happy to see that one go in. He's shooting four for ten with that basket. You see Levine's filled out his frame, shakes off contact, and completes the play. Pass to Batum. 44 seconds left in the first. No good. Shot missing. Nice D from Levine. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Carter. And then Carter with the jam. A beautiful find by Levine there. Takes his time to survey the floor. Rogier kicks to Batum. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 four, four to start. Bulls trail by 13. Here's Levine. He's got eight. To the left side wing. From downtown. The shot missing. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets. 13 points up at the end of the period. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Looking at what we've seen from the Hornets, uh, pretty much in control here, it would appear. Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. Bulls trail by 13. They've got Harris. Hernan Gomez out there with Washington. Then there's Terry Rozier, and it's Batum in at the three, the small forward. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Now, here is Hernan Gomez. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Steve, I know you like this, that the three-point shot is having such an effect on the league, actually transforming the NBA. Are you surprised with how fast all this is happening? I am. I'm surprised that so many teams are adopting this transformation of shooting a three ball because there are some teams and there's some players. I know they shoot it, Kevin, but they shoot it at such a low percentage. If you have the guys Take that can shoot it, Take a break. you should adopt it. If Two not, stop. you got to find another way of winning ball games. There's nothing wrong with having a great mid-range team that can knock down mid-range jumpers. Free throw good, Hernan Gomez. He hits both from the stripe. Bulls trail by 13. Levine feeling it out a bit. Hornets with the rebound. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Here's Rozier, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Zach Levine. And one of those little spark plug guys, Terry Rozier, plays the game with, a, Greg, I think a chip on his shoulder. 
<laughs> I mean, the story goes, as a kid, when his temper flared, his mother would have to sit on him until he cooled down. He, he's learned to channel that fire and emotion into his game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. And Zdaransky kicks to Levine. Pass to Dunn. Now the pass to Zdaransky. Shot clock at five. Back to Dunn. Over Rozier. Dunn shots good. His bread and butter is the mid-range area. Chris Dunn carves out a solid look for himself. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Charlotte's had to wait a bit the last few years. Now, the city hosted the All-Star Game last season. But for the Hornets, they've gone three seasons without a playoff appearance and 15 seasons without winning a playoff series. In that time, the franchise has had seven head coaches and a shifting front office. But Buzz City is hoping that its wait for playoff relevance will end soon. Kevin? We all are. David, thank you. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Rogier. He's perfect from the line this time. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Sadoransky, the pass to Young. Dunn dishes to Young. Outside, Levine. Dunn against Rogier. Back to Dunn. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Vernon Gomez kicks to Harris. Outside, Batum. He dishes it to Harris. Pass to Rogier. But they get it back. Here's Hernan Gomez. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Hernan Gomez has got 12. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Here's Levine. It's tipped. Four on three break. Here's Rozier. That one drops for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Now here's Levine. Eight points for him. Over it. Hey, hey. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And with this team, Zach Levine has been thrust into the role of the leader. Still young in his own right, but as a rising star and a large part of the future, responsibilities have fallen in his lap. Two. 
Yeah. The first one falls. That's all you. And for Levine, he is the best scorer on the team. And you know what, Smitty? He should be a leader. You're right. And that isn't something that's easy to step right into. After losses pile up, you feel more pressure and want to take over every game. Zach Levine should be up to the task, but it will take some adjusting. And so Levine nails both of them. Smitty, you played with the U.S. national team. Would you say they allow more physicality in FIBA than they do in the NBA? No, I, I think, Kevin, different parts of the game, there's more physicality, like on the free throw line, boxing out, uh, like going up for rebounds. They li let a lot more than we're used to go. But usually the NBA players adjust, and they find their way. Bridges misses. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Ernie Gomez has got six rebounds now in the game. Graham with the bucket. Graham's got eight points. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. And there's the foul. It's on Miles Bridges. That's foul number two for him. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. Whitey's checked in for Levine. Hey, who got it? White with it. Passes it to Sadoransky. Four on the shot clock. On its way from Young for two. And the Bulls with another miss. Hornets leading by 19 points. Hernan Gomez passes to Graham. Now Hernan Gomez. 12 points for him. Here's Rozier. Washington. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. That free throw good from Washington. And the Hornets making a change here. Monks checked in. And so he makes both from the line. And so White will bring it up for the Bulls. Kicks to Porter. Here's Gafford. Back to Porter. Six on the shot clock. That shot off. And Charlotte will come the other way. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Nice step back to get it off. Graham's got 10 points. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Now, here's Sadoransky. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Young left side over Washington. And Young with the basket on the assist from Porter. The complete game of Otto Porter. Overplay him, and it's a good bet he'll find the open man. At the top of the key, Bridges. And here is Monk. He has seven. The pass to Hernan Gomez. And here is Bridges. Two points. That one goes. Seven points in the game. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Gafford out to the right wing. Here's Sadoransky. Monk grabs the board. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. He's tightly guarded. That shot misses. Good defensive work there by Young. 
Here's Gafford. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Monk. The Bulls have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the game. Two, two. And he makes the first. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Zeller, he's checked in for Charlotte. So one for two that time at the stripe. One criticism of Jim Boylan before getting extended was his offense called too slow and too methodical. He addressed that this offseason by getting a top assistant to redesign the offense. Here's White following the basket by Malik Monk. And it's White missing. Here's Charlotte now. They're on a 20 to 7 run. Pass to Graham. Lock at six. From deep. Chicago grabs the miss. And Steve for Boylan, a first-time head coach. A smart move to shore up his staff, though. We see a lot of coaches now hire a specialist assistant coach to delegate part of that game to. Let's guys like Boylan focus on player development and defense. Now here's White. Here's Gafford, and the dunk to finish it off, a beauty. And a solid playmaker, White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. Pass to Monk. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Passes to Sadoransky. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fellas. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Now here's Zeller. There's the pass to Washington. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Here's Gafford. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Gafford's got his third bucket of the night. Great player movement, great ball movement. That's fun to watch. Pass to Monk. <laughs> Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Shooting one. And nice to see the strong inside game they're playing this quarter. This is his second attempt at the line tonight. Biombo has checked in for Washington. One shot. The free throw drops for Monk. And Monk is an interesting player, a combo guard with fantastic scoring potential, quick on both ends of the floor. Now here's Porter. Right side, Markinen, And that one is off. Charlotte leading by 21. Zeller passes to Biombo. Graham kicks to Bridges. Charlotte again missing. He hit one three in the first, but the well has been totally dry for him in the second. Porter laid in with a nice touch off the glass. He's able to do this now because of the added strength Porter muscling it home. Hey, yo, right here. Here's Graham. Done covering. Graham with the ball. Ten points for him. Pass to Zeller. 
And stolen by Dunn. And here's the fast break. Dunn leading the way. And he lays it up and in. Dunn's got four this quarter. Incredibly swift in the open floor. You can tell that's where Dunn feels most comfortable. Hey, yo, yo, right here. Yo, yo, yo. Now Graham passes it to Biombo. Now, here's Bridges, just five on the clock. On its way from Monk for two. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Markinen's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's White, buries it from three-point range. White's got his second bucket tonight. An assertive offensive player, White knows he has the green light to rise and fire. Graham surveying the floor. Now, here's Biombo, defended by Carter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And looking now at some numbers for Dunn. Some last season stats for him. Averaged about 11 points a game last season. Six assists and four rebounds. And for him, it's Shooting all two. about getting better each time he takes the floor. Also, he needs to avoid distractions on the court and off the court. Just focus on the job at hand. Free throw drops for Monk. So both teams changing it up here. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 52 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Outside, Levine. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Levine's got four points in the quarter. And here is Rogier. Eight points for him. Out to the wing. Now, here's Monk. Guarded by Levine, and once again, off the mark by Charlotte. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. I mean, with those long strides, doesn't take Porter long to get to where he's going. Now, here's Monk. Guarded by Levine. Out left to the wing. Rogier for three. That shot is off. And so it's Charlotte, up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. Back right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. After the first two quarters of play, it's Charlotte in control. They are leading by 12. And Big Fella, your thoughts on the Hornets? The area where they impressed me the most has been on the boards. When the shot's gone up, everybody goes for it. It's just a matter of maintaining that energy, playing with that same kind of aggression in the final two quarters. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on the Bulls. Well, it's almost impossible to catch up if you keep fouling. They need to be the team getting to the foul line at a higher rate in the second half. That means driving to the basket, hitting the cutter, slicing to the basket. Anything going to the basket is your friend. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Really an incredible game from Malik Monk. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. It's a part of his game that he can always tap into. There's an art to it, and he is painting the canvas tonight. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Taking a look at the Bulls. White and Levine team up in the backcourt. 
Arkin and Carter are up front, and it's Porter in at the three slot. Levine can't hit. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Here's Graham. He's guarded by Markinen. And it's sent back by Carter. That time, Carter's length and vertical paying dividends. He has tremendous potential as a rim protector. Here's Markinen. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. He's got free throw attempts number four and five here. And he was dialed in at the line a season ago, 87% from the line. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Incredible touch for a big man. Marketing shows it both in the field and at the line. Good on the second free throw. Charlotte leading by 11. Here's Graham. Down low, Bridges, and the layup falls. Bridges has got nine. Adept at maintaining his balance on the way up. Bridges, a strong player who can play through contact. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, there's not a lot of NBA players who come from Finland, but now there's Lori Markkanen. Before him, there was Hanno Matala, who was actually Lori's high school coach. Markkanen is soft-spoken and family-focused, but he says everything starts from basketball. All the decisions I make are based on if it helps me on the basketball court. Kevin? Terrific attitude, David. Thanks. Yes, that goes in. Bridges has got four points in the quarter. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. White finds Porter. Screen, 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 screen. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Offensive rebound. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Zeller passes to Graham. Now, here's Monk. The three ball. It doesn't go for him. Nice D from Levine. Well, the former Georgetown Hoya, Otto Porter, was on the move last season. Traded at the deadline to Chicago, who are in need of a player like Porter, who can shoot from outside. Here's Graham after the made shot from Zach Levine. Graham, the pass to Washington. He kicks to Monk. Four on the clock. Another shot. Washington, that's good. Washington's got his second basket of the night. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. Outside, Markinen. Levine for three. Here's Carter. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Smitty, as you mentioned, the need for shooters was something that brought Porter here. And Porter has been a consistently good shooter, something he's worked on over his career, Kevin. He's young and appears to be a perfect fit for what this team wants to do in the future. Two. That free throw good from Washington. And the Hornets making a change here. Harris has checked in. Second free throw, no good. 
And even as a rookie, you could see the consistency game to game from Wendell Carter. Very dependable on the glass and on the scoreboard for a player so young. Harris dishes to Zeller. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Charlotte moving it around. Here's Graham, guarded by Porter. From deep three-point range, and they force the shot clock shot violation. violation. Great D. Taking a look now at some numbers for Porter. A very nice season for him last year. Came in about 14 points per, five rebounds, and two assists. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. He's not trying to take over necessarily. He's just taking what the defense allows and contributing to the calls. Here's Washington. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Washington's got nine. And with Carter, he's only going to get better over the years. The upside is easy to see. He always finds ways to contribute to this team. Not sure if he'll be a star, but he'll be a rock on the offense and defensive end for a long time. And it's easy to give up after a play like that, but this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court, but you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Hernan Gomez has checked in for Charlotte. Here's Graham. He's got 10. And the pass to Washington. White against Bridges. To the middle. Washington passes to Bridges. Here's Harris. And it's blocked. Here's Hernan Gomez. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Bulls trail by 14. Levine with it. 18 points for him. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Ernie Gomez has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Graham. White covering. Now Graham, six to shoot, pass to Bridges. That ball is good for another field goal, his sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Not only a jump shooter, Bridges also dependable at knowing how to get it done inside. Now here's Sadoransky. Outside, White lets it go with a three. And again, no good by Chicago. Hornets leading by 16. Here's Bridges. It's deflected, but he gets it back. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Bridges has got 15. And Zosedaransky will bring it up for Chicago. Pass to Young. In the corner, it's Levine. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Young. Over Harris. And the Bulls with another miss. Charlotte's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Washington. Out to Harris. I see him. Back to Bridges. Over Levine, and it's off the back rim, no good. Bulls trail by 18. White looking around. Here's Young, falls back and drains the fadeaway jumper. Young's got his second basket of the game. And just running the offense, White's that new breed of combo guard who can do a little bit of everything. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. And players now, Steve, more able to dictate where they want to play. How has free agency changed 
since you came into the NBA? I think the signing of shorter contracts, Kevin, guys with player options. And then I think also for a lot of players, they are not taking as much money, leaving money on the table because the endorsement deals off the court is making up for some of their money on the court. Chris Dunn's checked in for the Bulls. They have leaned on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Sadaransky against Batum. Pass to Rogier. Back to Batum. From 12 feet out, here's Biombo. And then Biombo with the dunk. Doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second chance opportunities. Here's Levine, lays it up off the glass. Levine's got 20 points. This is what Zach Levine is built to do. He can get you points in bunches, and sometimes he can go all night. Now, here's Batum. He's been quiet so far, still no points in the game. And it's Rozier missing. Bulls trail by 16. Young outside, the pass to Gafford. And it's Biombo with the rebound. Biombo's got six rebounds now in the game. Hernan Gomez against Sadaransky. Now here's Batum, and the call will be against Thaddeus Young. That is his first foul of the game. Monks checked in for the Hornets. Shoots, and the jumper falls for him. Monks got 16. Bulls trail by 18. Pass to Levine. Here's Gafford. He's got seven. Done outside. Clock at four. Sinks the three-pointer. He has seven. Hitting contested jumpers, it's a must to be a scorer in this league. Nice shot by Chris Dunn. Now, here's Monk, guarded closely. Yep, that one goes. And the Hornets lead by 17. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. And here is Sadaransky. Over Monk. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Sadaransky's got his second bucket of the night. The defense was clearly not on the same page. No one picked up the open man. Done against Rogier. Here's Monk. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Thaddeus Young. Yeah, the defender all over him. Two shots. That one is off. Zeller, he's checked in for Hernan Gomez. Carter, he's checked in for Chicago. Otto Porter Jr. comes in for Sadaransky. He hits the second from the line. 124 left in the third. Done with it. Seven points in the game. Over Rogier. Tries again. 
Here's Carter. Biombo with the block. No doubt the quarter just not going his way. Still scoreless. Up top, Batum, guarded by Levine. Now Monk. He's got 17. Young with the steal. Dunn looking over the floor. Pass to Carter. There's 37 seconds left to play in the third. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. Chicago making a switch here. Markinen's checked in. Hornets leading by 16. Now, here's Rogier. He's got 10. Here's Zeller. Chicago grabs the miss. Carter's got 11 rebounds in the game. The kick out to Porter. Inside, here's Levine. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. One shot. Attacking with purpose. Levine takes the contact, finishes strong, now goes to the line for one more. He's gone two for two at the line so far. One shot. Free throw good, Levine. Zach Levine has all the physical tools and a skill set with an incredible high ceiling. And, and you can bet they weren't expecting that kind of a flashy move out of him, but that spin worked to perfection. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. So many good point guards in this league. So much responsibility comes with that position. That was a smart, smart play. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Monk and Batum, the wings. Inside, Cody Zeller and Bismack Biombo. And it's Rozier in at the one. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. Now here's Zeller. Clearly a foul. Two, two. First one falls for him. So he gets them both. Bulls trail by 18. Go, 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 go. Outside, Markinen. Left side, Levine. Hey. Got a piece of it. Hey, yo, yo, right here. Hey, hello. Clock at six. Done outside. Rogier against Dunn. 
and the layup's good off the glass. And the Hornets lead by 20. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim or from three. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Smitty with players like Curry and Lillard taking such high difficulty shots from deep, deep range. I mean, these are just amazing. Some have said that it's hurting the game and that kids will try to emulate it. Uh, what do you think about that? You know, Kevin, I, I think it is to some point and to this point where so many kids now at a younger age are shooting a three ball from so deep. I would love for a lot of these guys to be able to show the work they put in and then those kids try to emulate that. Chicago with the ball. After the basket by Charlotte, marking and inside the line. And the Bulls tack on two more. This is where marketing is lethal. Good balance off the catch, smooth mechanics, soft touch. Levine against Rogier. Passes it to Zeller. Just four to shoot. Overdone. Again, the Hornets score. I'm not sure if he was trying to show off or what, but when you're that open, you got to go straight to the basket. The fadeaway was clearly a bad choice. Monk with a double team. Here's Markinen. Goes back up, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. For a stretch four who spends a lot of time on the perimeter, Markinen does a good job attacking the offensive glass. Whitey's checked in for Chicago. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That free throw good from Markinen. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. The pass to Zeller. There's the dish to Graham. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. A little artistry in the painted area, converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. One shot. One shot. Steve Revenue's climbing. We're seeing some star players make 40-plus million a year. Top coaches making around 10 million a year. My goodness. Do you think coaches are due for a raise, though, Steve? You know, I think all parties involved, it, the numbers will keep going up, Kevin. The franchise values are going up to over a billion dollars. So I think coaches will get a raise, players will get a raise, and the guys that are playing at a high level, especially for coaches, if they're winning, their numbers will go up. And what body control, even when White gets bodied up, he, he sticks with his shot. Graham kicks to Rozier. And he jams it with authority. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fellas. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Now here's Markinen. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Markinen's got 10 points in just the second half. Pass to Graham. From 11 feet away, the shot comes out. Good work defensively by Carter. Bulls trail by 18. Outside, Porter. Carter, that's good. Wendell did this against high-level college competition. Consistently showcased the ability to score with efficiency. Now, here's Rogier. Zeller dishes to Graham. Over Levine. Second shot opportunity. Washington, that's good. And the Hornets lead by 18. 
when, when you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. Especially when you're this far down, you have to make the most of every sequence. Offensive rebound out to White. Outside, Markinen bangs home the trifecta. Thing of beauty. In terms of pure shooting form, Markinen's already well polished. Graham, the pass to Zeller. Down low, here's Rogier at basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. So much sharper, so much more efficient with his shot this half, just taking what the defense allows. Levine kicks to Porter. To the inside. Just five to shoot. Carter dish it to Levine. Over Rozier. Levine can't hit. Hornets leading by 17. Zeller with it. Now defended by Markinen. White, good. And you can argue this is White at his best. Just an absolute terror in transition. Pass to Harris. And he lobs it up. And it's Washington missing. Well, that alley-oop attempt, a case of what could have been, just didn't finish the play. You know, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. And here is Harris after the three-pointer from Zach Levine. Harris misses. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. Porter and finished off by Porter. Otto Porter is in attack mode. When he gets to the rim, he gets there in a hurry. Here's Graham, guarded by Levine. Graham with the bucket. And here's White. Again, Chicago. And what stands out to me about White, he's confident but resourceful. He's going to find a way to help you win. And the Hornets call time here. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Willie Hernan Gomez. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. He doesn't always get the minutes he's gotten tonight, but there's no way they were going to sit him down once he got going. And the crowd has been loving it. A memorable night for him coming off the bench. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear James Borrego coaching his team during the break. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Now here's Zeller. Here's Graham. I see him, I see him. Come get it. Passes it to Monk. Here's the three. Chicago grabs the miss. Porter's got five rebounds tonight. In the corner, it's Levine. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash-mouth physical basketball, guys. You see Zach Levine in the Bulls uniform, and it's hard not to think of the trade that sent him here. He was a big part of the deal that sent Jimmy Butler out of Chicago. One shot. And with Levine and the Butler trade, there were a lot of critics at the time. But you know what, Greg? It's worked out for the Bulls. And, Kevin, the Bulls took a chance with Levine, and he's developed into a bright young star. 
took another risk giving him a big contract after the injury, but he's come back better and stronger since then. Monk's shot's good. And Monk is a good shooter from the mid-range. He's only going to get better the more he looks to shoot from there. The pass to Markinen. And Markinen throws it down. He just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. Graham, the pass to Monk. Charity stripe shot, and there's another one for the Hornets. And how about Monk's ability to get shots up over the defense? He, he likes to stick it to them, just showing a lot of focus on that finish. Here's Washington. Excellent D there from Arkanen. Great defensive effort, just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Now here's White. And the shot is good. The Hornet lead has been cut to just seven on the basket from Carter. And they found the touch from the field here in the second half. It was a struggle in that first. And Zeller kicks to Monk. Plays it up and banks it in. Monk's got six in the quarter. I tell you, Monk can fill it up in a hurry. Well, once he gets on fire, the D knows they're going to be in for a long night. Let's the three fly. Another three for Chicago. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half, now has his second. Pass to Washington. Now, here's Monk. Guarded by Levine. Monk's shot's good. Monk's got 28 points for the game. And you could see it in his eyes there. Monk was determined to get to the basket there. And even with the contact, stays focused enough. Oh, oh. yes. An explosive high-level athlete. You see why Zach has won multiple dunk contests. Here's Graham. White covering. The shot by Zeller, no good. Bulls trail by six. Here's Markinen. A rebound by Washington. Charlotte shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. Pass to Monk. Stolen by Markinen. Levine with it. Markinen trying to break loose. Levine, good. And now it's just a four-point Hornets lead. Now, here's Monk. He's covered closely. In the corner, it's Bridges. And again, the Hornets missing. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Six on the shot clock. There's Porter with the three. Good! And that shot brings them to within just one. Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Bridges for three. No good on that one. So the Bulls will take it the other way. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Arkanen kicks to Levine. Monk with a double team. Levine passes to Carter. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. You know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Charlotte calls timeout. They're leading by one. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth, and he commits the intentional foul. He gets the first, and that will put them up by two.
And he cannot convert on the second. That Time misses. Time, Time called here. The Bulls 30. decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, what's your take? And they've got plenty of time to get a basket. But I'm curious to see, will they go for a two to tie or a three to win it all? We've got 13 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Now Levine, outside White, to take the lead. He's off from three, and that's a foul called on Lowry Markkinen. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And the second of two is good, and that makes Time it a three-point lead. Out. Time called Sorry. here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. One second left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, and only one choice here. They need a three. I I'm sure he's going to sub in all of his best shooters. Under two seconds remaining. It has to be a catch-and-shoot three if they hope to tie it. For three, Levine. Oh, he couldn't make that shot go to force overtime. So a close game sees Charlotte taking this one. What a show they put on here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.